Hello everyone, welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to remove columns by the position number using the table schema function in Power Query. If you like what you see here, remember to subscribe, give a thumbs up, and share. With that, you help me to grow in YouTube and keep bringing free content. Without further ado, let's start. Here I have a table with 105 columns and 50,122 rows. So it's a very decent table. My challenge is to remove these columns with the pipes. And that seems to be one column with pipes, then one column with numbers, one column with pipes, one column with numbers. So I need to remove these columns with pipes. So we're going to use the table schema function to do that. I'm going to go inside of the table, right click and get data from table range. I'm using Microsoft 365, the Power Query editor opened. On the left, I have the queries uh, section. I have this new query called table two, which is the name of the table. I'm going to rename it. Double click at table two, and I'm going to say this is solve. Press enter, and I'm going to collapse the query section. Control Shift Plus to zoom in. On the right, you see that Power Query is creating steps for me. So I'm going to remove the last step, change that. I'm not ready for that. And from here, this is the table that we had in Excel. Let's start by creating a new step here. Click at the FX beside of the formula bar. I'm going to say equal table schema. Open parentheses. We go to the end, close parentheses, enter. What this table is giving me is a column called name with the names of all the columns in my table. You can see that I have 105 rows. Those are the 105 columns that I show you in Excel. Uh, it's giving me also the position number. Be careful here because the position starts with zero. Also, I have the type name and I have the kind. I'm going to go back to my source. You can see that the data type of every single column here is ABC123, which is any type. If I change the type and my reference column for text, I'm going to insert that step here. That's fine. I'm going to change the data type of my column A for whole number. Now that I have a data type for these two columns, I'm going to go back to my last step. I'm going to show you how the type name and kind columns have changed. Here on my reference column, now you can see that it says text type doesn't say any type anymore. It says text type. Same thing with my column A. It says int 64, which is integer 64 type. And in kind, you see that it says text and number. So that is another beauty of this function. I don't need that information, or I'm not going to work with that information right now for the purpose of this tutorial. So I'm going to remove this change type step. So I'm going to click at the X here beside change type, and I'm going to just say delete. I go back to my custom one step. From here, what I want to do, I want to filter the position number, and I want to keep only the even numbers. So to do that, I'm going to create a new step, FX. I'm going to say equal, table, select, uh, rows. Open parentheses to the table that is coming from my custom one step, which is the table that we are seeing here, comma. The condition is, I'm going to say each keyword for a function. And I'm going to say number is even right here. Open parentheses. The number will come from every single item in my column position. Go to the end, close parentheses, enter. Now you see that I have only even numbers on my column position. So I'm going to go back one step. I could have also filter my column name and say here, text does not contain and does not contain a pipe because the columns that I want to remove, all of those column names contain a pipe. So you can do it either way in this specific example. You can adjust according to your needs. So now, after the closing parentheses, I'm going to provide one set of square brackets to, to provide the name of the column that I want to bring as a list, which will be 
the column name, which contains all the column names that I want to keep. So I'm gonna press enter, and now I have a list of those names. My next step will be to keep, to select only these columns from my table that is coming from my source step. So here very quickly, let me rename my uh, steps schema. And then this one will be um, list columns to keep. Press enter. I'm gonna create another step, fx beside the formula bar. And I'm gonna say table select columns. Open parenthesis to the table that is coming from my source step, comma, and I need to provide the columns that I want to keep as any. So I'm going to provide that as a list and I'm going to close parenthesis. You can also use the last uh, parameter that is optional in this uh, function table select columns and say missing field ignore. So just to prevent error, so press enter. And now you have your table without those columns with the path, right? So you can play around with the items on this column name. You can keep only the first columns uh, on your list, the last ones or combination of the first one or the last ones, regardless of the name of the columns. And this is a very good option to do that in a dynamic way. I hope you found this information useful. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and share. With that, you help me to grow in YouTube and keep bringing free content. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.